globalization has led to falling incomes for many working class people as jobs have moved overseas to Asia to other parts of the developing world. And I think this combination of downward economic mobility and rapid cultural change is what's made people insecure about their identities and therefore it's pushed the issue of identity to the forefront. For most of my life I've been thinking about how do we expand the realm of democracy and then all of a sudden 2016 happened. Why is identity all of a sudden uh, such an important topic for, for all of us? You're putting a yellow jacket on the road because you want to be seen. Das ist ein Teil der europäischen Identität. Dieses Stolzsein auf etwas, was man erreicht hat, auf friedlichem Wege. I think that's an honest, comfortable, secure, trustful place. And that's exactly the concept of this talk. We have to attack the weakness of populist leaders. And that's perhaps the tipping point for Europe and for European business. And I'll travel to Paris tonight and I'll knock at the door of the Elysee and I'll deliver the message from this forum. Because who are the citizens? We are the citizens. But what if we're wrong? When the tipping point comes, we will sense it. You won't oversleep that. So yes, you can have democracy, meaning you can have elections and popular choice, but without the kinds of protections offered by constitutional government, separation of powers, checks and balances, uh, what you're going to end up with is in fact illiberal democracy. Mm -hmm.